Hi, I'm Lee Burkeen with Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We've got a great lineup tonight. Chris Truax, former LSU football player, played at Richardson High School in Texas. His dad, Billy Truax, played in the NFL, and LSU was a tight end. We also have Terrence Isaac, the head coach from Green Oaks. That's right, Green Oaks in Shreveport, Louisiana. We've got three of his top junior football players. One of the kids is his son that he coaches at, uh, at Green Oaks, Terrence Isaac. Junior. We'll be right back. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine. When I tore my ACL, I didn't think I'd ever be able to play soccer again. My doctor told me how important physical therapy would be, so I chose Peak. I'm glad I did. Now I'm stronger, faster, better than ever. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog brain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. I'll leave for a little while. And all you other letters think you can take over my town. Look at you. None is just even a vow. If the people want the money they deserve for their accident. They eat guaranteed. And as for you other letters, it's time you are erased. CSE Customs has moved to a bigger state-of-the-art facility to serve you better. We are your one-stop shop for automotive custom work, including bed liners, wheels, tires, lift kits, upholstery, and window tinting. CSC's full-view showroom means you can watch in comfort and see every phase of work on your vehicle. CSC is famous for its lifetime guarantee on labor and for manufacturer's warranty work. Shop where the auto dealers shop for custom work. CSC Customs, airline at Old Jefferson, next to Brian Harris Audi. Exercising is my life, so when I had to stop because of my foot and ankle pain, I was absolutely devastated. I chose Peak and they taught me how to relieve the pain. They really do bring out the athlete in everyone. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I want to thank Superior Grill. Bob Kershaw, who played at Northwestern State, and his family. Uh, the new location, Highland Road, great place. They're also on Government Street, Lyon Avenue in Shreveport. They're in Birmingham, Alabama. And if you're in New Orleans, St. Charles Avenue, Superior Grill, family-owned, great Mexican, fabulous Mexican dining. Uh, the, our next guest, before I introduce him, uh, his career started at LSU as an offensive lineman, offensive guard to be exact. He was number 66, um, and he in, went up to uh, actually had an injury. And I think just by being a guy growing up in Baton Rouge, I thought he was going to have a long NFL career, like his dad, Billy Truax, who played and was a second-round draft pick of the Cleveland Browns and was a great tight end back when they didn't throw the football and had a lot of catches in his career that spanned over a decade in the NFL. Um, and... Uh, Later, the, our guests coached uh, over 15 years of college football, which spanned the McNeese, you know, went to Northwestern State, Stephen F. Austin, there's some others. Uh, go ahead and introduce Chris Truax. What's up, Lee? How are you, Chris? Man? Good. Thanks for having me. Uh, thank you for coming. And before I met you, you, you knew of me through the show, and, right. and over the years, I met you through football. But before that, my dad was a big LSU fan, okay. and I kept up with the recruiting before I got into this stuff. And this is 1984, 85, 86. 86, yeah. And my dad gets an Athlon's magazine. He says, man, let's look at the 100, you know. And I said, the top 100 recruits. And he's like, we got to get this guy Chris Truax. I said, Who, who's Chris Truax? He right. said, Richardson, Texas, man. One right. of the top offensive guards in the country. Right. His dad, Billy, and I'm like, that was before my time. It was during my dad's sure, time. Right, yeah. And I said, who was Billy Truax? He said, we played at Holy Cross. He's in the Hall of Fame in New Orleans. And uh, 
great tight end in the NFL. I said, Dad, that's, and I used to soak all this up with all these guys. And, but your family, your dad, my dad was a big fan. Right. And that's how I knew about Chris before Chris even came to Baton Rouge. But tell everybody your story, Chris, because your dad was playing for the Dallas Cowboys. And you told me that's how you ended up at Richardson High School in Texas. Well, it's funny. You know, you brought up, you bring up the Cleveland Browns. You know, he was the first pick. When they were of, winning. Of the second round. Well, he tore his, his, tore, tore his hamstring in minicamp, okay? So they traded him to the Los Angeles Rams. He said, best thing could ever happen to him going from Cleveland out to LA. LA. Because they were the movie stars before they was movie stars. I mean, he, he, you know, it was, a, it was a great opportunity to be in Huntington Beach, and he was there and played with the Fearsome Foursome and, and Roman Gabriel and those guys. Heck, I still get emails from Roman Gabriel this day, whatever, the little side Man. jokes they do. And after seven years there, he got traded to the Cowboys. Um, he had to finish his career there with three, with three years with the Cowboys, so he played 10 total, but they won the Super Bowl in 1971. Um, so Dallas was my home. North Dallas, Richardson was my home. Um, play with the, um, you know, some other guys. Uh, where the, their sons were Cowboys as well. We played with Leroy Jordan's son. Who, that's, that's incredible, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So there was four or five of us that uh, we did it. And one of our best wide receivers um, was a radio broadcaster guy, uh, Mitchell Gleber. Uh, his dad was Frank Gleber and so forth. The voice of the Cowboys and all that. So it was a good little community. Um, you know, being a Dallas kid and coming out of high school in 1986, Obviously, you had some accolades, and I was blessed to be in a, in a place that uh, had guys was getting nationally recruited, so coaches were always coming in and out. And, you know, I think my senior year, six or seven, I was assigned Division I scholarships, you know. Um, and a lot of my career in high school was as a defensive lineman. And, you know, guy stacked behind me was a you know, All-American linebacker who signed with Oklahoma and so forth. And uh, we had uh, just, just a, lot of, a lot of publicity being in the city. Coaches would fly into the city. and you know, could work Dallas and the big 5A schools and take you that. And of course, uh, 1986, you know, SMU was the program to be at. They were know? good. Yeah, called Pony Excess, you know, and that's yeah. where I thought I was going, to be honest with you. And I came home one day, my mother's sitting on the sofa, and she's bawling. <laughs> she's crying. I'm like, what's going on? Family went to LSU. Oh, family. yeah. Yeah, there ain't no doubt about it. My son's going to go to LSU. Right, right, right. Uh, and anyway, Mike Nolan, who was on Bill Arnsbarger's staff, uh, and prior to that, Coach Arnsbarger had offered me my junior year at an LSU function. My dad had taken me to it at White Rock Lake. And then, you know, I'd gone to games back and forth, and, uh, and Mike Nolan was at the house. And uh, just a, a great experience. And having, you know, you, where your family was, and you think about it, if your family's important to you, you want you mm -hmm. to be able, your family to be able to come watch you play and geographically located. And the whole state of Texas at that time was kind of, average in football besides SMU who had just got the death penalty. So uh, I was blessed to have offers from a lot of, lot of places, and, uh, but I just felt right at home at LSU with that, with that coaching staff. And you know what was amazing? It's just memory bank here, but the three running backs, three of the greatest, I think Nebraska had a few, Roger Craig and Rathman and all those guys at one time, but I mean, you had Craig James, you had Eric Dickerson. Right. And Reggie Dupart, right. what three great, incredible backs. And Dupart was from John Curtis in New Orleans. Right. And then they get the death penalty, and LSU gains a couple of SMU players and teammates. Yeah. Jimmy Young. Good player. Was a DB. And Rudy, Rudy Harmon. Rudy Harmon, another good football Who player. Who remembers that? No doubt. You do, obviously. <laughs> That's so, impressive. So you, would, you end up being teammates to two of the guys anyway. Yep. And Rudy and Jimmy ended up starting for LSU. They did. Ru Ru Rudy was inside linebacker. We were talking about a Mike linebacker earlier. And Jimmy started at cornerback and a, as a punt returner as well, too. And then we had an offensive lineman that was there. And it just didn't work <clears throat> out for him and his timing. But you finished at LSU. You, you had a, an injury. Did. Hurt, hurt my back. And, uh, you know, I, I it was against the University of Georgia in Athens. And, uh, you know, back's a serious deal in football, yeah. strictly business, yeah. especially going to that yeah. next level. You know, these guys got to understand that the average NFL career is about three and a half years. And there's too many guys that are healthy that can do the right thing at any position. We got a picture, Chris. Uh, you were recently at oh, the yeah. Heisman Trophy presentation. Right, 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 right. And, uh, That's my daughter in the picture as well, too. That, that had, we're going to talk about that the next uh, break when we come back. We're going to show it again, guys, when we come back. But uh, Chris had a chance to take in the Heisman Trophy presentation. To me, that's a, that's a lifetime experience to right. do that. And an LSU player, Joe Burrow, winning it. 
But we'll be right back. We're going to talk more with Chris Truax later in the show. We have Green Oaks football, Terrence Isaac and his three-star juniors. That's right, juniors, class of 221, not 220. We'll be right back. I'm injury lawyer E. Eric Gerard. Does a Superman comic where he leaves Earth and comes back only to find a bunch of other superheroes trying to fight evil but just not getting the job done? Well, I'm back. Now there's all these other lawyers on TV saying they can help you with their injury claim, but something's just not the same. There's only one Superman, and there's only one E. E. Eric Gerard. EGuarantee.com. Get the E. Guarantee. America's neighborhood drain expert. Hi, we are live with the PPTV network where one of the top athletes is about to make his important decision. We know his character and nothing will hold him back. I'm glad to have my family and friends here for this choice. It's more than my career. It will affect the rest of my life. I choose peak performance physical therapy. The decision is in. Why choose peak? The reputation and their regular success is unmatched. When it matters most, another patient chooses peak performance physical therapy. The Wright Group has been dedicated to enriching lives for over 100 years. With its roots in Louisiana, it branches across the U.S. and around the world. The Wright Group is a key supplier and contributor to the functional food, sports nutrition, supplement, and health and fitness markets, supplying customized nutritional blends, vitamin and mineral premixes, and micro-encapsulated ingredients, leading the way in customer service and innovation, fueling the way we live. The right team, the right group. Welcome back. Check our uh, website out, lafootballmagazine.com. If you're still trying to get the 2019 magazine, about to be 220, the 219, you can still get it. If your kid's in it and you've never watched the show before, you might be in a small town in Louisiana where you can't find a magazine. So go to our website, lafootballmagazine.com. We have a North Magazine and a South Louisiana Magazine. Two different covers, two different inserts. Kind of like to do at Lindsay's and Street and Smith's every year. They have a different cover, and you got about 20, 30 pages devoted to that area of the state. Right. Which you were a college coach. That's a big deal. Right. You were up north, too, so that's even a bigger the recruiting is the name of the game, and you know to to have your service out there and your branding and your awareness of the whole state and the heartbeat of the kids and the coaches and the communities that everybody has to go into. I mean, you're a resource that should be utilized by every college coach in the country. And I want to mention Chris. I mentioned he coached at McNeese, but he also coached at ULM of Monroe in Northwestern State. I mean, he did the whole the whole journey around. I did. I, I, I finished, you know, uh, unfortunately, heck, you might have known this, but uh, we lost our son when he was 10 yes. years old, Christopher, and I was coaching at Northwestern, and family and I had a tough time, and I thought about getting out of coaching at yeah. that time. Yeah. Uh, a friend of mine was a guy named Robert McFarland, who's the offensive line coach at Louisiana Tech right now, and he was the head coach at Stephen F. Austin. And uh, he's like, look, I want you to come over here. And anyways, I ended up staying and coaching and got over at Stephen F. Foss and Robert ended up leaving. But I was at Stephen F. Foss for nine years. I uh, won a couple of conference championships. A quarterback won the Walter Payton Award. So we had, we had some good, good years over there. And uh, then, you know, transition happens in coaching. The only thing, happens, you know, coaches are usually moving on or moving right, out. Right, and the right. administration stays the same. And so our head coach was let go and our staff, 10 other coaches, you know, families get affected. And uh, we were moved back to Baton Rouge, had a daughter that was coming to LSU and uh, one in pre-K and uh, just decided to kind of put down some roots. But, you know, you're a coach, that's what you do and feel good at. And uh, heck, I'm ready to kind of get back in it. Let me put that out there for Chris. Chris has got that itch to get back. And if you're a college head coach, hey, this is decision making month, right? I mean, December, January, coaches are getting fired and coaches are getting hired. And so Chris says, hey, 
remember me because I've got the experience. I played at LSU. He's a good line coach. Uh, could coach D-line, O-line, I sure. mean, right. tight ends if need be. Right, running backs. Uh, yeah. But if you're a Louisiana coach, heck, Texas coaches watch this, Chris. Right. And uh, he's got that itch to get back in it. And then, uh, it's, it, once it's in your, your blood, it's hard to get it out. Oh, you, uh, you either can or you can't. You know, it doesn't matter if you've been in out of it a week or a year, two years or whatever. You know, if you, you got to love it. you got to love it. you got to be passionate about it because everybody just sees the finished product on Saturday nights. They don't realize, you know, coaching's just half of it. You got to be so much more to these kids these days. I mean, you know, the national exposures they get is just unfathomable. But you're some devoting of these your guys. life when you're coaching. There's no, and your family's devoting their life. You know, They're that's part of the whole. For the whole for, hey, for 22 years, seven days a week, my wife and kids knew where I was and what I was going to be. My problem is now I own, a, own my own business. I got personal time. I can come do a TV show. I'm bored. You hey, know? he'll even be an analyst. You I know? sure would, yeah. Ed Orgeron, if you're watching, hey, man, you get you a great one of your former great players as an analyst to be at LSU. Oh, let's pull up this Heisman Trophy again uh, with Chris and his daughter, uh, which was in New York. Right. Uh, you, this was, was just past Saturday you night. You said it wasn't a heavy trophy, huh, Chris? It, it wasn't, wasn't to me, you know, and, but, you know, everybody's excited and adrenaline's pumping and all that kind of stuff. And there was a lot of people. And that picture was at the uh, – at the Knickerbocker Hotel, Tiger Athletic Foundation had a nice deal, kind of a post party, and Joe and his family were there as well, and just a very humbling and unique experience to be to be a part of. And you know, the backstory for me being there is this past Tuesday, I loaded a 16-foot Penske truck because my daughter there is working in New York now, <laughs> and drove 22 hours Whoa. up there. And as I was going up there, uh, started thinking about the Heisman and started making some calls to LSU and just- I'm gonna be there. Old, old personal connect, and I was gonna be in there. My daughter getting her introduced maybe to some LSU alumni and so forth. And that's what I was perfect storm for. So all came together and just a, a tremendous weekend. We've got some video now. I'm gonna need Chris's help. He's a D lineman in this, but remember Dallas Carter, if you're a recruiting fanatic in the 90s, Dallas Carter was number one in the country for years. Even Coach Isaac knows this, being from Dallas. That's coming on later in the show. But, Chris, tell everybody, where, it's not starred or marked, no, but that, you're, you're on the D-line here. That's right. And tell everybody where. You're the nose. You're the, uh, I'm what, the three technique. Three technique. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's Carter, who was number one in the country. Jesse Armstead that went to the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, they had 20 a year signed. Let me tell you, they had a running back there on that team called the uh, – I'm drawing a blank as we're all talking American. about it. Yeah, yeah, he was All-American. Darren Lewis, Darren he Lewis. signed with Texas A&M University. Of course, at that time, you know, I thought that was one of the best. So you're playing O-line too. Yes, yeah, so I played all, off of line right there. Played some right guard as well. So you're right of the center. Yep. Pulling. Look yep. at you pulling, man. Yep. You, tur you, well, well, you, they, you, you couldn't do all four of them, but <laughs> <laughs> they had 12 All-Americans rushing. No, it was a good time, man. Chris, and what would you play at weight-wise at Richardson? 265. And at LSU. Yeah, 300, 290 range. Got in the weight room. Yeah, man. I mean, Put they, that O-line weight yeah, on. Yeah, they, they get you and they bulk you up. I mean, you're doing sort of Olympic lifts and nutrition. and uh, This is this is great footage. you got Texas 150 years in the background on the there field. There you go. That's the old you Cotton know, Bowl right old there. Cotton Bowl, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, That's an know, old turf. At that time, we took city buses down to the steel. It ain't like these elitists now. Right. Take these private coaches and got police escorts and all that deal. There was still some uh, some magic in the room, man. We also have a video of your dad, Billy Truax, okay. getting inducted in the New Orleans Hall of Fame. Fabulous. Uh, Billy went to Holy Cross. This is your dad, Billy, That's man. Him. Look, your dad was a big guy. There he was. I mean, you know, he went to Holy Cross when he was 13 years old. He really, he was raised in a family. It was he and his brother, my uncle Jesse, who went to Holy Cross as well and signed with LSU back in the late 60s. But he had four sisters. Wow. And basically his dad told him, look, we really ain't got room for you. And you need to, we you need to go find to, your yeah. spot. You got to go. So at 13, he left home and went to New Orleans. From and your dad is still alive at 75 years 75, old. 75, living in Carnegie, Nebraska. God bless him. Tell uh, everybody Nebraska. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The storm, you said, in Mississippi. Well, Katrina, he was down in Kiln, Mississippi. Um, he's still got some commercial property down there that he looks after. But uh, my stepmother's from the Midwest, and she had three kids that lived up there at that time. So they moved to to Carney, and, uh, but I think he spends more time down here than he does in Carney. We got some footage we were running on his dad, Billy. Uh, see what footage this is. Uh, it was running, and uh, 
maybe we can get back to it. But, but Billy's, uh, I don't know if it was from the NFL or if it was his college days at LSU, but we'll, when we find that, let me know. We'll get you back know, to he, that. He made all of them. Here America. it is right oh. here. Um, I think that was uh, Senior Bowl, Senior Bowl. Blue-Gray game, something like that. Right. You know what I heard about a lot, that basically he had uh, made uh, one catch at LSU, and it was on a fourth and one against Ole Miss because LSU never threw the football that much. Jerry you know? Stovall he blocked play, for. Yeah, that's right. And he played defensive end as well, too. But and in the NFL, he catches over almost 300 catches right. in his career. Yeah, good quarterbacks, man. Great put quarterbacks. put it on there. That's right. Roger Starbuck. Right. Was a teammate Roman of Mike. Gabriel. Was a teammate of Mike Ditka with, uh, exactly. with the Cowboys. Oh yeah, he rotated with Ditka. That's that's. Uh, did Pretty, you ever get to know Mike? I mean, I know no, you were a kid. No. Nah. If I did, I did. Yeah, you know, yeah. Didn't realize it at the moment. Probably be fun to hang yeah. out with. You no, know, I thought I thought I had a lot of friends growing up as a kid, but they really just wanted their dads wanted to meet my dad. <laughs> you know, those deals. Where's Billy at? Let's that's talk right. to Billy. <laughs> this is a great catch the Rams. Mm -hmm. This is a highlight of your dad catching it from the. The Rams here back. Uh, there Rams you go. are good back. Look at that concentration, concentration man. Concentration, there ain't no doubt. Uh, you man, know, it was tough back then playing that game. The, the padding, the protection. Uh, the, I mean, I've got his Cowboys helmet, and my brother has his Rams helmet. I hope my sister doesn't get a Super Bowl ring because I want that. But <laughs> it's ridiculous to look at. It looks like you something you go into the Kmart or Walmart right now and buy the little you know strap bands and stuff. Well, you like got that. a pretty ridiculous ring on right well, now. Well, you know what? That's all about recruiting. It's like we saw you boys over there at Green Oaks. That's what they want to put on their hand. And how and how hard it is to get one of these. That's your LSU ring. No, this no. is not. This is our back-to-back -back championship ring. I do have an 88 SEC championship ring from LSU. This is from Stephen F. Austin. We won back-to-back -back, uh, conference championships. Your hand would fall off if you had the other one there on. There ain't no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a break, Chris. When we come back, we're going to be joined by Terrence Isaac. Speaking of Dallas, Texas, he won a state championship in Dallas. And later in the show, we're going to have his players join us. We'll be right back. Well, I've had back pain now and then, but it got so bad I couldn't even bend over. I didn't want to resort to pain pills, so I chose Peak, hoping they could relieve the pain. They got me active again. I even lost weight. I believe in better. I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. What's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. I spent years suffering from knee pain, so I decided to have replacement surgery. My doctor did a great job, and he allowed me to choose Peak for my PT. I should have done this a long time ago. I'm so glad I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. I'll leave for a little while, and all you other letters think you can take over my town. Look at you. None of you even a vow. If the people want the money they deserve for their accident. They eat guaranteed. Mm. And as for you other letters, it's time you were erased. CSE Customs has moved to a bigger state-of-the-art facility to serve you better. We are your one-stop shop for automotive custom work, including bed liners, wheels, tires, lift kits, upholstery, and window tinting. CSC's full-view showroom means you can watch in comfort and see every phase of work on your vehicle. CSC is famous for its lifetime guarantee on labor and for manufacturer's warranty work. Shop where the auto dealers shop for custom work. CSC Customs, airline at Old Jefferson, next to Brian Harris Audi. Welcome back, Libra Kane, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Uh, we've been talking to Chris Truax and showing all those great pictures and videos of Billy Truax. You know, young kids today need to, to remember the history, you know, and I did that. When I was growing up in the uh, 70s, late 70s, 80s, I wanted to know who played in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Well, if you're growing up in the 2000s and to now, you, you know, you want to you keep in touch with that. I always, I always found it fascinating. You know, who were the great players in the beginning? You know, the Newt Rockney coaches in the beginning, uh, 
uh, you know, Paul Horning and, and Jimmy Taylor, Billy Cannon, late Billy Cannon. My dad would always talk about these guys, Jerry Stovall. You know, I grew up a Terry Bradshaw fan, a Mel Blunt fan. I was a big Steelers guy. So if you're a Saints fan, don't give me too, too hard of a time, but I love the Saints. I really do. If they're not playing Pittsburgh, that's the only time I pull against the – and go Saints. Last night, Drew Brees did a phenomenal job going 29 to 30, breaking the record for the completion percentage in a game at the age of 41. Are you kidding me? All right. In, in, a, in, a, in a big boy game, I want to go ahead and introduce our Cleveland, Ohio native who's coaching at Green Oaks but came over from Dallas, Texas, where he won a state championship, Terrence Isaac. Terrence, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks for making it all the way down from uh, Shreveport. And you told me you watch the show every Sunday yes, in sir. Shreveport. Yes, sir. Watch the show every Sunday faithfully. We wanted to get Green Oaks on even last year. We couldn't make it happen. I might have called you. Maybe you were out there teaching. Maybe you were out there getting on the kids. I don't know. But I got you this year, and t Jace called you. And I was so happy to know that we could bring your kids down and, and get your program on the map statewide. You do a phenomenal job, Coach. You've had over 15,000 yards of offense in four years. Yes, sir. That's incredible, Coach. Yes, sir. And um, it's a credit to my guys. It's a, actually, it's a credit to everyone. It's a credit to – the administrators, uh, counselors, everyone does a great job. They do a great job giving me everything that I need. And then I have to credit the kids for the work that they do on the field, off the field, in the classroom. The program was 1-9 and nine when you took it over. It was 13-20 and 20 prior to you taking over. The last two years, y'all make the playoffs. You get to the second round this year. You had to replace a lot of seniors from last year. You don't dress 90 to 100 kids. You dress more in the 30 to 40 range. Yes. And you make it all work. You make, I can tell, development strong. And Chris knows that coaching ball and playing the game. Mm -hmm. But not one kid on your team, it seems like everybody's involved. Everybody plays out of that 35, 40 kids. Yes, we have guys that just come in and work hard. They do it in the classroom. They do it on the field. And even though the numbers, we're short numbers, I think we ended the season with 31 guys. But these are guys that's asked to go both ways, and they step up to the challenge, and they do a great job with it. And, Coach, y'all play a tough schedule in Shreveport. Yes, sir. I don't know if uh, people realize, but we had the hardest schedule in 3A football. We played a bunch of 5A, 4A schools, but I did it to kind of uh, prepare us for the playoffs, the atmosphere, different atmospheres that, you know, we'll face and things like that. So I think the guys handled it well. And you were an All-American in Minnesota at Vermillion College in Ely, Minnesota, MVP in 97, man. <laughs> so you, you go from Ohio and Cleveland. What in Glenville, was it? No, it wasn't Glenville. It was West Tech, Cleveland West Tech. We're no, uh, Cleveland West Tech is no longer there, but I was the last class in 1995. Did you grow up a LeBron James fan? I did not. I grew up a Michael come Jordan on. fan. Come <laughs> I grew, on, man. I, I, was, I was back in the day with Michael Jordan. I, I was a Michael Jordan fan. So you go from Ohio, then yes. you go to another cold state, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And you, you hang there and you finish. Man, I got a lot of respect for you. A lot of guys won't stay out of state at a junior college for two years. Right. And you did it. MVP. Then you go to Dallas. Tell everybody the story about your wife's a coach and, 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 and how she's accepted your position. She still lives in Dallas. Yes, my wife's a coach at, uh, in Dallas, and uh, she's in Fort, Fort Worth, uh, Dunbar. She's okay. a head girls basketball coach there. And, uh, you know, this doesn't work without her. You know, she's, she's been a trooper, and she's – allowed me to be in Shreveport. So Monday through Friday, we're in Shreveport. And then on weekends when we're not playing football, we travel back to Dallas. And uh, we've kind of made it work the last three years. But the great thing is having a wife as a coach so she understands the grind. And Who's everything. a tougher coach, your wife or you? I am. I am. <laughs> I am. Can you beat her in basketball? No, I cannot. No, I cannot. <laughs> no, I cannot. That ain't, that's not going to no, happen. That's not going to happen. She, she did pretty well. She played some college ball, and she was an All-American uh, point guard. Now, when you were in Texas, you were at A-plus Academy. You won a state championship in 2014 and in Cedar Hill, Texas, mm -hmm. a very fruitful place of football players. Yes, it is. And, you know, I was privileged. I had a chance to work under Joy McGuire. You know, Joy McGuire, he's at, he's at Baylor right now. So uh, that was a great experience there. Great group, group of guys that I was able to coach with and be in a room with. And a lot of those guys, I worked with a guy named John Thomason, and he's actually a quarterback coach. And he works with, boom, Keith Baker over the summers and things like that. They put in work. 
and he's had a chance to go uh, on with the Cleveland Browns and the Oakland Raiders here recently. Coach, when we come back, we still got more Chris Truax. We're going to get Chris's thoughts. Coach Terrence Isaac Green Oaks going to have his players. Speaking of Keith Baker, we're going to come back and talk about Keith, Terrence Isaac Jr., and also the coldest. He's a sophomore, committed to LSU, only a sophomore, wide receiver, DB as well. We'll be right back. I'm injury lawyer E. Eric Gerard. Does a Superman comic where he leaves Earth and comes back only to find a bunch of other superheroes trying to fight evil but just not getting the job done? Well, I'm back. Now there's all these other lawyers on TV saying they can help you with their injury claim, but something's just not the same. There's only one Superman, and there's only one E. E. Eric Gerard. eGuarantee.com. Get the E. Guarantee. Hi, we are live with the PPTV Network, where one of the top athletes is about to make his important decision. We know his character, and nothing will hold him back. I'm glad to have my family and friends here for this choice. It's more than my career. It will affect the rest of my life. I choose peak performance physical therapy. The decision is in. Why choose peak? The reputation and their record of success is unmatched. When it matters most, another patient chooses peak performance physical therapy. Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Yeah. Frog drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. The Wright Group has been dedicated to enriching lives for over 100 years. With its roots in Louisiana, it branches across the U.S. and around the world. The Wright Group is a key supplier and contributor to the functional food, sports nutrition, supplement, and health and fitness markets, supplying customized nutritional blends, vitamin and mineral premixes, and micro-encapsulated ingredients, leading the way in customer service and innovation, fueling the way we live. The Wright Team, The Wright Group. Well, this is the Tennessee LSU game, and Chris Tuax is on this O-line with, and Johnny Majors is the coach at Tennessee. Let me tell you something, the guy playing next to me at right tackle, Roger Hutchison. East Ascension. East Ascension. East Ascension. Guy, you know, at that time, he's one of the big six, seven, three hundred and thirty. 330 Could have gone to the league, but just football wasn't important I to him. I forgot he started. Oh, yeah. Because he left after a year. Yeah, he, he did, rest. after this year. Mike Archer was your head coach? Mm-hmm. And this was a great win for LSU in 89. No, we, we ended up losing, losing this game. This game. Okay. Tommy had a career game. I mean, he went, they really got some Heisman recognition after this game. And you're on right, left, gu right guard. guard. Right guard, 66. Yeah. That's when Tennessee was pretty good. Yeah, man. The guy played against Kelly. We lined up. He was a first round draft That's pick. That's Alvin Lee. Yeah, back. Alvin Lee wasn't a bad. He's an inside slot receiver. Came you remember Marion Hobby? Oh, big time, yeah. long time pro. Yeah. That's good. You got hit a good job pulling this stuff up. Yeah, and, this, and, and Hudson, uh I think Sammy Martin's on this team as well, I think. No, Sammy was done in 87. Sammy was done. Well, we had Eddie Fuller, and we had uh, obviously Harvey Williams. Tony Moss. Tony Moss. Tony oh, Moss. golly, there you go. Bozier High School. Yeah. Oh, Eddie from Leesville, Louisiana. Good player, man. Solid guy, too. And Halliburton at tight end. Yeah, there you go. He had Halliburton, he had Willie Williams. 66, right yeah. guard is Chris. They didn't put you on the camera on this one. You look like you took a guy eight yards. There you are. You could pull though, Chris. You're yeah, a big guy run. that could pull. Look yeah, at, I mean, you look to, like, believe me, that's one thing. You play at LSU and you're big, you better be athletic. You better be, be able to bend. There was some there was some talk back in the day that the best bench presses were Eric Andelsek, the late Eric Andelsek. Yeah. There was uh, 
a couple other guys, and then your name was thrown around. What, what was your highest bench press? Yeah, 460. Whoa. Yeah. But I mean, I'm a short arm guy, yeah, so yeah. I mean, you know, I had a little advantage. Look at Chris, man. To that deal, but. Uh, it's Tony Moss, Tony so I'm not happy with the call. Now. Tony was what, five, six? Oh, yeah, could play. Golly, could play. His son could play, too. His son played. We signed his son at, at Northwestern State. Matter. Talked about guys that are undersized but can get it done. His son could, could get it done Terrence, as well. what do you think of those old clips, man? That's impressive. We actually need some of those linemen <laughs> right now. That's impressive. They're hard to find still, oh, aren't they? Oh, yes, sir. Now, Coach, yes, speaking sir. of linemen, you have a DN that I think could play Mike Linebacker. Joseph Mason, Yes, he's going to Louisiana Tech. He's going to sign Wednesday. He, he signed Wednesday, and he's all set up. And I'm just, I'm just so proud of him, the way that that kid works. Um, he sat here last year, no offers, didn't complain, and then one day he picked up four offers in one day. And Joseph is built and can run. I mean, we're talking about a guy pushing 250, yes. 6'3". Yes. That can that can run laterally, can yes. make run tackle. He can he can rush. Yes. And he's all out. Yes. Four or five guy, uh, he can play anywhere. We played him everywhere. I mean, he does everything for us. And uh, he can kick and punt and do all that. But uh, just a great kid. You Tech's know. getting him another future NFL player, I think. Yes, yes. Because he'll yes. end up 275 running 465, yes. which is off the charts. And he brings it. You know, a lot of guys, Chris knows, they look the part. But when you bring it and you have it, right. I mean, mm -hmm. you're going you're gonna to make some money. And uh, – Want to go ahead and, and talk about and brag on your three junior players, Coach. We talk mm -hmm. about Keith Baker, your quarterback. Mm -hmm. He's got it to me. Yes. Um, I'm outside your program watching. Mm -hmm. I'm at a game two years ago watching Keith. I'm there by accident because I'm watching the game of that Thursday night. I'm mm -hmm. driving up from Baton Rouge, and I said, that's the game. Yes. And I said, I want to see Green Oaks. And I saw Lola Prep. And Keith made about eight plays that looked like mm -hmm. Joe Burrow, the mm -hmm. Heisman, like eight Heisman moment plays. Mm -hmm where he was boxed in, and he got out of it. He made plays that were NFL throws, mm -hmm. and people bounce off of him. He's 5'8", yes. 200 pounds, yes. but he, he, he looks like a bigger version of Kyler Murray. Yes. He's different. He is, and, and Keith, he's a guy, I tell everyone, he has all the answers to the test. He's a guy, he may not, you know, when you look at him, you may not see quarterback, you may not see 6'3", but this guy, he's, he's special. Different. And he's been special since ninth grade. And what people fail to realize, he's calling his own plays 90% of the time because we want to go fast. So Keith Up is out tempo. there. He's, yes, yes. So he's doing all the checks. He's getting everybody placed and everything. And he's a joy to watch. In that game, I watched Keith take three drives. They were down by 21 points. 16 play drives, up-tempo, three in a row. Three 16 play drives. And he finishes off running one in the end zone on a fourth and nine. He threw one in the corner of the end zone with touch. And he hit another receiver over the middle with, with touch with three people all over him in, in the pocket. Mm -hmm. He sets in the pocket. He's not a runner. He's a runner when he needs to be. Mm -hmm. But he'll set in the pocket and tear you up. And he'll also get out of bounds. You can't even get to this guy. No. And we're never out of a football game. We had a game up in Haynesville. And we're down 33 to 8 in the fourth quarter. And he brings us back. And we had a chance of winning at the end. We actually scored at the end and they caught it back. It was called back. So, you know, with Keith, we're never out of it. Never. When we come to the next segment, I'm going to talk about his other two juniors, Coach's son, Terrence Isaac Jr., and also Dakota Crawford, a sophomore who's committed to LSU. And they're going to be on the show later, and we're going to talk to Chris a little more. Truax, we'll be right back. This throbbing neck pain was so bad it moved to my shoulders and was causing severe headaches. Then a friend suggested I choose Peak. Two weeks later, the pain was completely gone. So glad I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. What's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Yeah. Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. CSE Customs has moved to a bigger state-of-the-art facility to serve you better. We are your one-stop shop for automotive custom work, including bed liners, wheels, 
tires, lift kits, upholstery, and window tinting. CSC's Full View Showroom means you can watch in comfort and see every phase of work on your vehicle. CSC is famous for its lifetime guarantee on labor and for manufacturer's warranty work. Shop where the auto dealers shop for custom work. CSC Customs, airline at Old Jefferson, next to Brian Harris Audi. I'll leave for a little while. And all you other letters think you can take over my town. Look at you. None is just even a vow. If the people want the money they deserve for their accident. They ain't guaranteed. And as for you other letters, it's time you were erased. My shoulder pain got so bad I couldn't lift anything overhead. So I chose Peak Performance and I can't believe how much better I am now. Peak really does get you back into the game of life. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Before we get back to Coach, we're going to talk about his sophomore receiver that's going to be joining us that's committed to LSU, Dakotas Crawford, and also his son, Terrence Isaac Jr., who is a junior. Uh, he'll be a senior in next year. And also the other two kids that are going to be joining us, Keith Baker is quarterback. But uh, Chris Truax remembers this as a former LSU player, and I, I remember it. But the greatest Green Oaks player, everybody thinks of Tredavis White. But if you're over 40, 45, you remember a guy named Rivero Swan. Yeah. And Chris, he was phenomenal. Oh, linebacker. man, he, he played. He's one of those hybrid kids. You know, I just uh, assimilate him to a, a, a chess on right now, body, body type wise. Speed. Speed, you, power. He could drop in the flat. He could, he could get to the curl or whatever. And on top of all that, he was a great teammate and he was a great man. You know, I do remember that high character, high integrity guy, carried himself well, represented his community well, represented LSU well. But as you guys all know, you know, injury's part of football. Yeah. And um, I'd like to really know what he's doing because that's a great name you brought up and I, he was a good teammate to have. And back then, they didn't have the orthopedic uh, technology. No, you, you can come back in two, three months now and train. When you had certain knee injuries back then, it's just nothing you could do. It ended the career of, uh, of, of a lot of football players. And I, I want to give a big shout out too to Tre Davis White that was on the cover of our magazine at Green Oaks. I thought he was the greatest skill player on film that I'd ever seen besides Tyron Matthew at St. Aug. We filmed Tyron and actually did the film that LSU bought of Tyron. Tyron was a ninth grader. I seen him return three punts for a touchdown in, in one game. And I saw Tre Davis intercept two touch two interceptions in a game for touchdowns, the same game, and three punt returns for touchdowns Jeez. in the same game, right? With the two interceptions. And to see him intercept two balls for Buffalo uh, was phenomenal. He's 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 starting to dominate and, and bait these quarterbacks in the NFL. And I'm happy for Buffalo. They're 0 and 4 in Super Bowls. You know, and I, my shout out prayers to Jim Kelly hanging on and fighting right. cancer like my mom. Uh, currently, um, but we're all hoping Buffalo, I do, can win a Super Bowl. Minnesota's 0-4 in Super Bowls, Coach. You spent some time in Minnesota. Yes. That's tough to live with, right? Yes. You know they say the former players, Chris, sure. that they all get to be a part of the one. Right. But, uh, you know, you had Fran Tarkenton in Minnesota, Ahmad Rashad, mm -hmm. Carl Eller, all these great Hall of Famers, Chuck Muncie. Mm -hmm and they lost four Super Bowls. So what do you think? Do you think the Saints will win it all? Do you think New they, England will win it again? Honestly, I'm a Steelers fan as well. Come on. Well, you're uh, from Ohio. I'm from Ohio. I thought it would be Cleveland. But. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm from Ohio, <laughs> but, uh, you know, they, they give me a it's hard time. It's half and half? Brother. Yeah, no, no. It's straight Steelers. You know, when I was younger, my granddad, it, he took me to a Steeler game, and okay. ever since then, I've just been locked in. Okay. Locked in Steelers fan. Waiting on Big Ben to get back next year. Ben Rossenberger? Yes. They don't have a mean Joe Green still, though. <laughs> and Mel Blunt, Donnie Shell, L.C. Greenwood, go on Marky Blair. We could just derail the kicker. I mean, we go on and on. But what do you think of the Saints this year? Uh, I love it. I mean, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm, my heart's still with the Cowboys and so forth. You but still I'm, like your Dallas uh, team? I still got to, you know, I got to be loyal to my Cowboys and I love the Saints as well. And obviously, you got a quarterback, Hall of Fame quarterback, gives you an opportunity to win every Sunday. Dak and Elliott 
What's missing with this team with Dallas? I mean, Jerry they got Jones the is, is the problem. Okay? I mean, the owner, the GM, the micromanagement. I mean, you know, you hire these guys and you got these elite players and stuff, but if you can't call a shot as a head coach, you know, you've got an administrator basically telling you what to do. That's that's hard, and that's why he, you know he loses Jimmy Johnson Super Bowl. He brings in Barry Switzer. Yeah. And he's got Jason, you know Garrett. And, he played uh, for him. Yeah, so uh, they, they have all pros at every position. Every position. The O line, everybody's a first round pick. Right. Lyle Collins is one of them. Right. Your running back makes a hundred million a, a, in ten years. Uh, Elliott from Ohio State, best one of the best running backs in the league. Dak Prescott from Houghton, Louisiana, one of the best young quarterbacks in the league. They pick up the receiver from Alabama. Uh, who played for the Raiders, one of the best receivers in the league. Mark Cooper. I mean, the D-line, the linebackers, Vanderbosch, all these guys. Yeah. If they don't win a playoff game this year, oh. and I'm not a Dallas fan. That's you. a tragedy. Right. But uh, – Well, if you ever get to Dallas and you get up to see that, that star, yeah. it's, it's, it's not first class. It's a world-class facility. It's, it, it's spectacular. Yes. Uh, the coldest Crawford, Coach, mm -hmm. and your son – Mm -hmm. They're both coming back. You got to mm -hmm. be happy to know not only your son's coming back, mm -hmm. but Baker, your quarterback. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Dakota's and, and your true evaluation of your own son? That's hard to do. Mm -hmm. Dakota's, he's, man, what, what can I, I can't say enough about him. He's a kid that I've seen grow since eighth grade, works hard, works extremely hard. Uh, some of the things that you guys don't see is this, it's a time that he puts in on weekends, calling me, asking to get into the gym. Uh, he does all the things necessary to be great, and that's the thing. He hasn't reached his full potential yet, and that's scary because once he does, he's going to be unreal. Committed to LSU. Committed to LSU. He's locked in there. I'm happy for him as well. So he's uh, the sky's the limit for this now guy. Here's the pressure one. Mm -hmm. Your son. Mm -hmm. It's hard. <laughs> I know it's got to be hard to talk about mm -hmm. taking the emotion out because it is your son. Right. Same name as dad. Right. Terrence Isaac Jr. Yes, sir. What's it like coaching your son? I'm proud to coach my son, and I'm, I'm glad that I'm, I'm able to go through this journey with him. Um, just to watch him come back from an ACL injury. He had ACL surgery last year. He um, just, I mean, last year he didn't have an opportunity to, to, to train for the season. He yeah. was just trying to get on the field. So to watch him go through the rehab process and put in the work, and now he's back, and then it's a year later from when he had surgery. I'm just looking forward to seeing what happens next with him. we got about 50 seconds left. Is there a message you have for the guys coming back for spring football that will be coming up? We have to be ready. We have to be ready to go because right now the expectations are higher for us. We're not sneaking up on anyone anymore, so we have to be ready to go. How's your young guys coming up? Your eighth graders, seventh graders. You got some young guys that can. Yes, we, come we up had an eighth grader you. by the name of J.V. I. Marshall. They had to start for us. He started at guard for us last year, and he came in and did a great job. And he's working. Offensive working, guard. Offensive guard, and he's working. How big is he right now, Kevin? Right now, he's about 315, 6'2", 315. Chris, love it. You got to have those recruiters' guys ears are already. Inside, the, no recruiters' doubt. ears just started spinning. That are watching TV, they're eating popcorn and going, "What?" They're writing that name down, and he's about what six foot, six two, six two, three fifteen, probably fourteen years old. And you got coaches stumbling off their couches right now, <laughs> coach. Thank you for coming, coach, Thank all the way you. from Shreveport, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Don't pleasure. go anywhere. We got a segment left. We're gonna give y'all t-shirts and, yes, and gifts, and then we got your players coming up. We got the Green Oak recruits coming, all three of them. We're gonna you're gonna we're gonna introduce them to you in just a second. I'm injury lawyer E. Eric Gerard. Does Superman comic where he leaves Earth and comes back only to find a bunch of other superheroes trying to fight evil but just not getting the job done? Well, I'm back. Now there's all these other lawyers on TV saying they can help you with their injury claim, but something's just not the same. There's only one Superman, and there's only one E. E. Eric Gerard. eGuarantee.com. Get the E. Guarantee. Hi, we are live with the PPTV Network, where one of the top athletes is about to make his important decision. We know his character, and nothing will hold him back. I'm glad to have my family and friends here for this choice. It's more than my career. It will affect the rest of my life. I choose peak performance physical therapy. The decision is in. Why choose peak? The reputation and their regular success is unmatched. 
When it matters most, another patient chooses peak performance physical therapy. Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. Welcome back, Libra Kane with Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I love to get these young guys on to promote them, to get their names out. Um, and also the juniors. We don't have a lot of juniors that come on, but the three kids that are going to be on the show tonight, Coach brought up from uh, for Green Oaks High School. Uh, our first uh, to my to my left is the coldest Crawford, a junior, committed to LSU wideout. You play a little DB for your team too. Yes, uh, your quarterback in the middle, Keith Baker, a junior, uh, the guy that has it. And to your left, Terrence Isaac, junior, the coach's son. You, you smile, you laugh a little bit, at the, but your dad. We got to start with this. Your dad. So, like, playing for your dad? Great, but it's hard work every day, though. Like, every day I'm working. Like, it's not going to stop with him. And it's double disappointment, too, yeah. if you don't do what you're supposed to do, right? Yes, sir. Well, we got some, we've got film on all three kids, and I want to start with the coldest Crawford, his film. Um, wide receiver, only a sophomore. I keep saying junior. But you play like a junior. But this is film on you, Dakotas, at wide out. This is why LSU offered you. This is why a lot of colleges want you. Where did you get the stealth speed? Well, it's really it's just like I've, I've been had the speed like this since I was little. It's just really how I run. It's just me. Here's the hands. Look, corner end zone. Whoa! Little Beckham <laughs> catch there, man. <laughs> this is uh, this is you out right here. They're playing a little man on you. I'm yeah. shocked. Little man defense in, in school, you really got them more than they're playing man. You don't see that much, but again, over the shoulder, easy job, huh? Yes, sir. So here's another one. They're playing man also, which again, you don't see this a lot in high there school. Was ball. A, there was a double team right there. Double team. Two people in front of me. The nickel and the corners on you. Yes, sir. You split them, and then you say, I'm going in zone. <laughs> right? Easy, right? Yes, sir. I see a little chase in you there, a little, a little wiggle out, little hands. You're gonna, you're gonna get the weight on you. You got two years, and you're over six foot tall right now. Yes, so you're gonna end up being a big wideout. Keith Baker threw you a lot of these balls. We want to go ahead and get Keith, and show off his ability. I, hopefully, we'll have some of his running plays. But Keith, this is you. I call you the magician, man. You like Houdini. Look at you. I mean, you just look at this. Stop, pop, over the middle. I mean, where are you seeing that? You're getting chased and you're still looking downfield. This is again, Keith at quarterback, it's in the shotgun, avoids the rush, cannon arm, bam, in stride. Ball was there. Here's another one. In shotgun. Over the shoulder. Touch, corner and end zone. That's a hard pass, man. And here's here's another one, four wide, shotgun. Getting chased. Throws the ball. Touchdown. So when you're getting chased, you're not thinking I'm going to get sacked. You're still looking downfield. I noticed that in your game. But what are you thinking when these guys are coming to sack you? That i got to get the ball out of my hand. I have to get it out. Get to one of my playmakers so they can make a play. Are you carving up in your mind how it's going to end before it ends? Because it no, kind of looks that think. way. Ugh. No, sir. <laughs> that you're watching your guys get free, get deep, and you're checking off. If your first read's not there, I see you go to your second, third read. And coach says you call, you call plays. Yes, sir. How long have you been doing that? Uh, since my freshman year. Your freshman year? My freshman year. He says, I trust you. Yes, <laughs> and so to your left, we got film. We got one more highlight to show. 
And this is the coach's son, Terrence Isley Jr., playing a little wide out for, and here's Keith again. Look at Keith, look at, I mean, look, your quarterback's delaying to make sure you can get open and then, hey, that's a great catch, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> here's another one. Cornered end zone. Kept two feet in, that was pretty good. Here's another pass over the middle. Good catch, man. And here's another one uh, as a, more of a slot. Over the shoulder, man, that was a good one. It's kind of hard to guard Keith Wright, both you guys, yes, the coldest and Terrence. Yes, so nobody can really get double teamed. If they do, it's a big mistake. Is there a third receiver you want to talk about so we don't leave him out? Uh, yes. Me I, Jackson. He just, the speed is crazy. Uh, and you got a fourth receiver. Jamar C.A. Smith, yes, sir. So a lot of people don't, yeah. All four can play college. Yes, sir, basically, yes, sir. Now, do you have a fifth receiver? Uh, no, sir, not right now. So y'all running now. a lot of routes. I mean, it's yeah. full wide every play almost. Um, how many design runs did Coach Happy do? He's got None. some design, no? No. <laughs> Just if Chase get the first or yeah, get, get the ball out your hands. Who's your favorite opponent to play, guys, start with Dakota? Who do you like to play every year in Shreveport? Um, get you up for the game, kind of like an Alabama LSU game. Anybody that sticks I'll out? I'll say probably Northwood. Northwood? They had a good quarterback this year in Bogan. Yeah. Good players and, and, and Brown, they're wide out. Yeah. Keith, who do you? We got a Captain Shreve in Northwood. And Shreve. Shreve? Is Y'all know a lot of the guys? Uh, not from Shreve. I know a lot of guys from Northwood. Northwood. I know a little. Yeah. D. Brown is a pretty good receiver. There's some good players in Shreveport, man. I always say that the, the passing game in Shreveport is number one in the state. Everybody can throw the ball in Shreveport, from Evangel to Houghton to now you even have North Webster throwing the ball and North DeSoto. But I want to thank everybody for our show tonight. I appreciate everybody coming. I appreciate Chris Truax coming on and our Green Oaks coach, Terrence Isaac, and his players. And uh, watch us all week long in Louisiana. You're watching it on Your View. That's Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We'll see you next week.